The first rule of rescuing bald eagles? Always wear gloves. That's because bald eagles aren't the biggest fans of humans. I know you're angry. But Charlie the eagle really needed help. When her rescuers found her, she had an injured wing and couldn't fly. Lucky for her, the people at the rescue clinic were going to do everything they could to get Charlie back to the sky. But they'd need some very special tools to do that. First, a tiny eagle hood. If Charlie couldn't see her rescuers, she wouldn't be as mad at them. That's better. Now they could really get to work. Once the rescuers could get close enough to take care of her wing, they realized that fixing it was actually the easy part. Now Charlie needed time to heal before trying to fly again. But she couldn't do that in this small box. So her rescuers moved her to a specially built enclosure, which Charlie really seemed to like, mostly because it let her get far away from them. It's okay, Charlie, we still love you. Charlie was happy to have some space. But just like people, eagles are social animals. They need friends to really feel happy. And if Charlie could feel happy and safe, it might help her heal faster. It turns out, Charlie wasn't the only newly injured eagle at the clinic. A few days after Charlie arrived, Wally was brought to the enclosure. And right away, they hit it off. Charlie was like, hey, welcome, I'm Charlie, I don't like humans. And Wally was like, yep, same, can't stand them. With Wally by her side, Charlie was finally feeling comfortable at the rescue center. Comfortable enough to take baths again. Did you know eagles love baths? It's true. They're expert splashers. It took a whole month, but Charlie's wing was finally feeling strong again, which meant she only had one more step in her journey. Flight training. Charlie was moved into the largest room at the clinic, where she displayed her usual attitude towards being helped. Yes, we get it. You don't like us. With all that space and with other eagles to cheer her on, Charlie finally showed the rescuers what they had been waiting for. She was ready to go home. After one final check, Charlie was brought out to the wild. Still hooded, of course. I cannot stress enough how much she does not like people. With her whole rescue team watching, they carried her to the field, took off her hood, and off she went. Charlie might have fought her rescuers every step of her journey, but they were never looking for a thank you because they know that helping these eagles is the right thing to do. And when they see birds like Charlie flying off into the distance, happy, healthy, and free, that's all the reward they really need. Though it probably would be nice not to have to wear the gloves. Help the kittens find the subscribe button.